Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our first example of how to use Lohopoulos rule on a very interesting problem right here. So we have 3 to the x minus 1 divided by x, and we're supposed to find the limit as x approaches 0. Let's go ahead and try to see what we end up with. So this would be equal to 3 to the 0 minus 1 divided by 0. And so anything raised to the 0 power is equal to 1, so we get 1 minus 1 divided by 0, so we get 0 divided by 0 which would be undefined. L'Hopital tells us, let's take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. But how do you take the derivative of 3 to the x? Well, for that we need a little trick. Our little trick is this. 3 to the x power can be written as e raised to the natural log of 3 raised to the x power. So what we've done here is we replace the number 3 by writing it as e to the natural log of 3. Hmm, can we do that? Sure we can, because e raised to the natural log of 3 just gives us 3 back. So this is simply a different way of writing it. And then of course, whenever we have an exponent raised to another exponent, that's the same as multiplying. So this can now be written as e to the x times the natural log of 3, or we probably prefer to write it as e times the uh, raised to the natural log of 3 times x. So this now becomes the coefficient of the variable x. Now when we write it like that, we can indeed take the derivative of that. So we're going to rewrite our function as follows. We're go going to take the limit as x approaches 0. Instead of 3 to the x, we're going to write it as e raised to the natural log of 3 times x. And that would be still minus 1 divided by x. Now we can go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule. We're now going to take the derivative of the numerator and of the denominator. So this would be equal to the limit as x approaches 0. And if we take the derivative of e to the natural log of 3 times x, it's still e to the natural log of 3 times x times the derivative of the exponent, which is the natural log of 3. So this becomes the natural log of 3 times e to the natural log of 3 times x. Of course, the derivative of minus 1 is 0, and then we divide that by the derivative of the denominator, which is simply 1. Now I believe we can go ahead and apply the limit and see what happens. So this would be equal to the natural log of 3, multiplied times e to the natural log of 3, times 0, when we replace uh, x by 0, divide by 1. Of course, e to the 0 is equal to 1, so this becomes the natural log of 3, divided by 1, or simply, the natural log of 3. The limit as x approaches 0 of this function right here actually is the natural log of 3. And so there's some neat little tricks to help us figure out that answer. 